Angel, I knew there was something different about you from the very first moment where we met in Croatia, uh, amongst a sea of sailors. You had me with your incredible, gorgeous, genuine smile, which could light up any room and continues to give me the warm, fuzzy feeling. When we had to depart and go our separate ways from our Euro summer travels, we continued to keep in touch, sending maxed out text chat bubbles across multiple social channels, just so we could continue to learn more and more of each other whilst apart. If that was not enough as a sign, what particularly blew me away was for your superior listening and memory skills, <laughs> where we would sometimes remark each other as a king and queen whilst you scoped out numerous castles through your travels that would be befitting for the both of us, knowing full well for my love on medieval themes. This particular memory skill of yours is one not to be trifled with. Along with the addition to your exceptional law background, I have soon come to accept that in order to put up any reasonable case of defence on any potential future argument, <laughs> that I will need to hold solid, substantial evidence with the appropriate key references of any <laughs> verbal agreement, i.e. refer to paragraph B of subsection 1 of section 15 of the Human Rights Act. <laughs> <laughs> You are an instant hit amongst my closest friends who stand with us here today. I couldn't help myself, but I wanted to introduce you to all my friends, having already made small mentions to a select few that I truly felt you to be the one. Words which I have never parted my lips prior uh, for anyone. I admire your tenacity and drive to overcome any new path you set your foot upon, knowing you put 100% of heart to anything you do, witnessing firsthand the successful outcomes that follow. We had many trials thrown out against us, uh, the both of us. Yet to my amazement, my love for you only grew more than I could think possible, overcoming each hurdle together as a team. I continue to make the next step, standing here before you, together with our friends and family, as witness and make the following vows. I promise to look at you the same way like when I am opening up a new Magic Card booster pack and finding a sword after shiny rare. I promise to continue cutting your fruits in the morning just the way you like them. No pips, no stems, just to help start your day right. I promise to be your first response unit when needed to step in to take care of any of the creepy crawlies uh, whenever they come into contact. But I vow to be always your number one cheerleader in any of your hobbies and passions. I vow to watch reruns of the show series Friends and Anime Avatar even if it's our 10th run in the space of a year. I vow to be the man that you inspire me to be and the man that you deserve. I promise to stand by your side through life's most joyous moments and challenging ones. I vow to cherish you, devote my life to you and always be true. Joyce, I'm truly blessed to be a part of your life, which as of today becomes our life together. It is impossible for me to put into words the passion and infinite embrace you have on my heart. I love you dearly for all that you are and I cannot wait to do, to do life with you. You are my joy, my love, my peace and now to be made my queen. I love you Joyce, I think you. <laughs> it is with the greatest of joy and so much love that I can now pronounce you husband and wife. Luke, you kiss that beautiful bride. Yeah.